Hi everyone, my name is Bram Foubert. I'm an associate professor at the School of Business and Economics in Maastricht. I want to tell you a bit more about the Master Business Intelligence and Smart Services. Now, before I go into detail, I want to tell you a bit about the background, about the motivation for the existence of this program. More than ever, companies are aware of the need of business intelligence to be successful. And they do not only need that business intelligence to support internal decision making, but also to make the lives of their customers and their suppliers easier. And that's also where the importance of smart services uh, kicks in. Smart services are data and technology-based services that allow people, managers, but also end consumers, to make their lives easier. An example of such a smart service is the Nike app that many runners have on their smartphone. It's an app that enables runners to keep track of where they've been running, that allows them to share their tracks with uh, friends. Often it also combines with sensors in the runner's shoes, such that it keeps track of, keeps track of how fast the runners uh, ran, um, uh, the, their pace and so on. And when they come home, they can check a dashboard and see how they've been doing, what their performance was, and again, share that with their friends. That's just one example of a smart service that targets end consumers, but obviously there are also smart apps that rather cater to managers. Now that's all fine. The problem, however, is that companies are facing an enormous shortage of such, such business intelligence workers. So there are many companies that are struggling with finding the right people to fill, fill those vacancies, to find people that can deal with business intelligence, find people that can develop smart services. Before this talk, I did a quick check on Indeed.com, which is the biggest uh, vacancy uh, platform. And what I saw was that more than, there are currently more than 20,000 business intelligence job postings, more than 26,000 job postings that relate to big data. So there is a huge opportunity um, for students that finish this master to find a decent job. Indeed, this is exactly where we position our master in business intelligence and smart services. The whole premise of this master program is that there is a plethora, a huge amount of data, and that the challenge consists in exploiting that data, trying to derive insights from that data in order to make the lives of uh, managers easier, but also those of end consumers. There are a few aspects to this whole process. First of all, the challenge consists in bridging that gap between the data and the end users. We need business analytics, we need, need data science to go from the data to the insights, to go from the data to the end user. Vice versa, we also want to, let's say, extract data from those decision, decision makers' behavior and store that data because that gives new opportunities to derive new insights. There are kind of three aspects, three facets to this whole program. First of all, there is the smart service component. We, in this master program, we want to teach students how to design a smart service how to provide end users with useful information. So that's more of the design aspect of the smart service uh, development process. A second aspect is business analytics. Students should know how to analyze the data, how to translate the data into insights. And for that they need, as I indicated before, they need, they need business analytics and they need data science. So that's the second aspect of this master program. The third one is that students should be aware of the architecture, the data platforms, the systems that they need to support these smart services. So those are three kind of pillars in this program. And I will come back to that later. We will teach students to become familiar with all three. In fact, the goal of this program is to train students um, to, to obtain a T profile, what we call a T profile. That means two things. First of all, we train students that speak the three languages, that speak the language of business analytics, of business intelligence systems, and service design. So uh, as a matter of fact, the students that we train should be able to manage, to guide groups that design a service, groups that exist, uh, that design smart services, groups that exist of 
uh, business analytics people, of service designers, of people that are familiar with business intelligence systems. So that's our first purpose, to train people that are multi-talented, that speak the languages of those three groups of people that are able to supervise the service design process. But then the second goal is to also enable students to develop a certain expertise either in service design or business analytics or business intelligence systems. So hence the T profile where the flat bar refers to the student's ability to speak the three languages and the horizontal, sorry, the vertical bar points at the specialization that the student can choose. Let's dig a little deeper into the program. So we have two semesters as this slide shows. In the first semester, students will have to work on some mandatory courses. The first of which is service design. Service design is a course in which students get familiar with the actual design process. How to develop a service that is user oriented, that provides value to the user. That's what they do in that first mandatory course. In the second mandatory course, students become more familiar with the business analytics, the methodologies that enable uh, students, that enable uh, service designers to translate the data into insights, the techniques, the methods that allow us to extract insights from the data. That's what they do in the second mandatory course. But there's also a third mandatory course covering the third aspect involved in the service design process and that's the course Business Intelligence for Smart Services. That's a course in which students become familiar with the platforms, the existing systems that allow uh, to develop such services. A crucial aspect of the program is that students will be involved in so-called smart service innovation projects. So they will work together with a company on a specific task. So we implement project-based learning. As I indicated, this project will be in collaboration with a company and will enable the students to practice the, what they have learned in these mandatory courses. This will happen both in the first semester as well as in the second semester. So there's going to be a project in the first semester and one in the second semester. In addition, students will be involved in a study, study coaching trajectory. So what that means is that they get a personal coach that helps them to develop certain skills, to see what, what are their weaknesses and their strengths and to work on that. So that's what they will do in the study coaching trajectory. Students, of course, will also have to work on a thesis, a master thesis. We start already with that at the end of the first semester. First, students will have to develop a proposal that, which then gets approved and from then on, students can continue working on their thesis in the second semester. Finally, and importantly, in the second semester, students have an opportunity to choose a specialization. So they can kind of specialize in one of the three flavors of the master program. Remember, service design, business analytics, and business intelligence systems. Specifically, they can choose from three, what I would call paired electives, so electives that belong together. Uh, when it comes to the business analytics specialization, that's either descriptive and predictive analytics together with smart decision support systems. So those are two courses that together enable the student to specialize in business analytics. Another flavor of the master is, to, is when students specialize in business intelligence systems. Again, two courses together build that specialization, more specifically advanced data systems for smart services and data visualization. And finally, there is also the service design flavor of the program, which means that students take the elective courses, interaction design on the one hand, and on the other hand, value proposition and pricing of smart services. Now, where is this all taking place? Well, the master program is offered at the School of Business and Economics of Maastricht University, situated close to the city center of Maastricht. Maastricht University was ranked as the fifth best young university in the world, a very attractive place to be. Important is also that this program is offered in collaboration with the Business Intelligence and Smart Services Institute in Heerlen, an ecosystem where academia meets the industry, a, biz a campus where many startups and many bigger companies are located and students oftentimes will have to be there to work on their project. We believe that the future of our students looks bright 
in a few years from now, this could be you completing your studies at the School of Business and Economics. And afterwards, you can fill one of those positions that companies are looking for. If I triggered your interest, please visit our website or contact our university in a different way. We are very much looking forward to having you in our program. <laughs>